This is Mona Sports TV. We're coming to you live from the UE Mona Bowl, and this is a new initiative by the UE Sports Department. Mona Sports TV is a bi monthly episode of sporting happenings on campus. It's more than just that. You're going to be getting interviews with athletes, you're going to be getting Vox Pops, you're going to be getting supporters telling you why they support Mona Sports and also telling you what they don't like about Mona Sports. And so, therefore, this bi monthly episode will give you a holistic view about sports on, on campus. Of course, we want you to come out to the various games and support the teams, but if you can't make it, log on to our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash Sports. Check out Mona Sports TV, and we'll ensure that you don't miss anything. We also have a YouTube channel, so if you happen to miss the game, or you just didn't get a chance to stay for the entire match, we'll keep you in the know, we'll give you all the results, and of course, we'll keep take into the lives of the various players, supporters, administrators, in sports on campus. It's a new initiative by the UEMONA Sports Department as we try to keep youthful, creative, and most importantly, keep you, the viewers, interested. Welcome to the first episode of Mona Sports TV. Uh, today, my co host is Games Committee Chairman Teron Dewar. Uh, so, Teron, just tell us before we get into Mona Sports TV's episode today, what, who is the Games Committee Chairman? What does the person do on campus? Well, the Games Committee Chairman provides a platform for competitive and recreational sport to thrive on the Mona campus. Um, it's a collaborative effort between the Guilds Games Committee Chairman and the Sports Office to ensure that sports on the campus goes in the right direction. All right, and in today's episode, we'll be giving you a review of sporting happenings on campus. Uh, we had the UAU Tech Sports Championship. Uh, how do you think that event went around? Well, then I told them before that you know, they're going to get a whitewash. Well, they happened to get loan them one this year. So it's yes. still the second year around, 4 1 victory. So next year, you know, we'll definitely give them a whitewash. Also in this episode, we have a review of our sports scholarship launch. We had our launch just a few weeks back of our fourth cohort of students here at the University of the West Indies. And Sports Awards. Who was the Sportsman of the Year? Who got the Sportsman of the Year? Uh, Teron, Sports Awards, you received the, the, the Sports Rep of the Year. What, what did that mean to you? Well, it meant a lot to me. Um, during my tenure as Sports Rep at Taylor Hall, we put in a lot of work. Uh, we got the results to won the majority of events, male and female on campus. And it was, it was a nice feeling to be recognized for our hard work. So the winner of the uh, UWI Male Athlete of the Year of the year 2010-2011 goes to none other than uh, Hansen Forrest. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, the winner, Female Athlete of the Year, UWI Mona, goes to Miss Malaysia Kelly. I'm Rashid Hall, Sports Coordinator in the UE Sports Department, and you're watching Mona Sports TV.